Manchester United thrash Leicester in the League Cup fourth round in the United Twins need to speak about it. Blessings to everybody inside, including yourself, CM. <laughs> Manchester United 5, Leicester City 2, through to the quarterfinals of the League Cup and after the weeks and months we've been dealt with. The chaos that ensued at times during this game was the perfect remedy to our sorrows. Two goals from Casemiro with his first being an exceptional strike from distance. Worked down the left hand side as Leach clips the ball into Alejandro Garnacho. He advances. Plays the ball inside and Bruno lets it run through to Miro who rockets one. Top bins. Great overall performance from him too. The other goals came from Garnacho and Bruno Fernandes scoring twice as well. I didn't even think we had the best of starts to this game. Leicester was zipping the ball about pretty well. They, they did the same to start the second half also. What went wrong for them were the defensive mistakes which happened at a much higher frequency for the Foxes as opposed to us. It definitely wasn't a defender's game and like I said earlier, I think we all needed that type of open, high scoring affair. First time we've scored five against Premier League opposition since Leeds back in 2021, I think. Correct me if I'm wrong. But yeah, I mean, good to see goals galore. Rude celebrating, and I know it's a minor thing, but just seeing some emotion, some character on the sidelines was a welcome sight. It may sound stupid, but it meant something to me, man. Yes, and you speak about seeing emotion and character. Now, I wasn't at the ground. Maybe somebody who was there can tell the full story, give us a spiel, but to a certain extent, you can gauge how things are through the atmospherics and television and the mood at Old Trafford seemed quite lifted, relaxed. That tension I felt created a very negative mood all around, evaporated with every goal that went in and it was almost like, it was almost like that with some of the players. Kicking away some of the frustrations of how this campaign has begun and in no way are they off the hook. Actually, I see a game like this as an outlier because of the circumstances around it string of bad results leading to Ten Hag sacking and now you have Rude in the interim. Things are quickly progressing on the other side with Ruben Amarim. I think the latest update tonight is that both clubs are getting close to agreeing a date for him to leave sporting. Perhaps his appointment may already be announced by the time you're watching this video. Don't think he'll be in charge for Chelsea. I've seen a, a November 10th date floating around. That Funny enough, would be Leicester in the league this time, just before the final international break of 2024. So a lot of things to look forward to while also taking a cautious approach. And we got the soft launch of a new era beginning in the summer. Now the hard launch is approaching and we'll have the privilege of living through the ups and downs as we always have. The question is, how different will this new era be when it officially arrives? We won't see wholesale changes from minute one, but hopefully as the timer reaches 90, the dreaded reset button won't be frantically flashing for the sixth time. In the League Cup draw, we got Tottenham Hotspur away, so we'll be looking for revenge. Hey. <laughs> so a, a big quarterfinal matchup there. They defeated Manchester City, so that's a big hitter out of the way, out of the competition. Another big team to exit was our upcoming opponents this weekend Chelsea watch out for our vibe check and I do want to say a few things about that on the front page of our channel you can see all of this season's vibe checks now in a dedicated playlist as they do act as a short and palatable match preview so please if you enjoy them run them up hit the like if you ever encounter a vibe check on your shorts feet same with these videos. Support us twins by hitting that like button. Oh my. Subscribing if you're new. Sharing to your friends and frenemies. And an often forgotten sign of interaction. Leave a comment under this one. We always look to reply, man. It was a little short video. We might be back if we get some big, big, big news. Appreciate you all coming through 22s. And until the next time, we'll see you lot sooner. Bit.